What you guys got another video here for you. Now if you want to remotely connect to shut down a computer or restart or log off a computer or set up any other top sort of uh, file transfer or anything like that for free then you can do that with TeamViewer. Now TeamViewer is a very powerful tool. Now we can set up an unattended access which allows us to access a computer anywhere on our network or outside of our network uh, to connect into that computer uh, whenever the person is not there so we don't always have to ring them and tell them to give us a code or anything like that we can set that up here for free now as long as you're not a commercial business or, or anything like that you should be allowed to set this up for free for all your family and friends and also be able to help them out or maybe you've got a file server that you want to be able to remotely shut down because it hasn't got a monitor to it or anything like that it just sits in a corner and it's a server so you can log in and shut that down uh, remotely okay and this is what this video is all about so let's have a look at how we can set this up first off you need to get yourself TeamViewer TeamViewer is a free download you can download for free on this website here called teamviewer.com now you can come to the download here on this green tab or you can hit the downloads all downloads and then it will give you a list of downloads that they have which is for Windows Mac Linux and mobile so you can access any of these um, you know at any time you want with unattended access which is this here as you can see and that's what we're going to be setting up so let's start off by installing this software as an unattended access now you need to put this on all the computers that you want to remote into okay so whether it will be a file server this uh, this software needs to go on there and set up now basic installation you can do or you can just go ahead and put in the remote unattended but what we're going to do here is I'm going to do the basic and set up the remote afterwards make sure you've got on there the personal non-commercial use as long as you're not a business or anything like that using it then you're fine you can do this they'll allow you to do that put show advanced settings and click accept click on yes to the user account control now you've got a couple of options here that you may want to tick or not tick I'm going to leave mine blank now you can browse and choose your directory where you want to install it I'm going to leave mine as default click finish now once that's installed you'll get this uh, window pop up we can close this off and you can see this is our main um, console here we're going to close this off here and this is what it looks like so you can see here allow remote control or we can control remote computer and this is what we're going to be looking at on this side today so what we're going to do first is set up um, a, an unattended access now we need to click on the connections tab here and then click on this here now you can see it gives us loads more options once we install the full software so this is what we need to do here now we're just going to go through uh, the little menu here so you can see here a uh, computer name is called bench PC now this will be the name of your computer so for instance if you've got a home theater PC and you called it HTPC that's what it will say here okay now we need to make sure that you put a very strong password here okay because you're going to always have this running as a service when the system boots up and that will be always running okay so you can just remote in at any time so make sure it's a very strong password so we're going to call this something like that okay so we've got a pretty strong password there click next now this is an area that you can uh, set up as well now if you want to create a free team viewer and account you can also do that if you wish just for now I'm gonna be clicking on I don't want to create a team viewer account now you can always do this later on okay click next and this is the ID that you're gonna need okay so you want to make sure that you write this down and that's very important because that's the code that you're gonna be using so let me just make sure I've got this written down correctly so we've already got that written down so what we're going to do here is click on finish now we'll close this off now you'll see down the bottom right hand corner here it says team view is still running and that's because it's going to be running down here even when we reboot it will automatically start up okay and you can see the code there what it's using for this computer now you can install this exactly how i've done here on all your computers in your home on your home network or your friends and family and be able to remote in and help them whenever you need to okay and they won't even have to be there for you to do it and you'll get a different ID for each one of those machines so then let's now jump over to our machine that we're going to be using 
to remote from. So we're going to come here now. I'm going to quickly flick over. Okay, so now we're on our Windows 7 machine here. And uh, what we're going to do here is use this. So now we've got that control remote computer. And all we need to do here is put in our partner's ID. Now we don't need to ring them or ask them for the ID. We already have it. And the server is already running because we set it up that way. So now all we need to do now is type in our code. So let me just make sure I've got my code ready. So okay, let me put my code in here. So my code's in and we want to make sure we've got remote control. If you want to do file transfer, it's underneath, but we're going to do remote control. Click connect and this is the password that you're going to need to put in. Okay, You need to make sure you put the password in that you set up on that other computer. Okay, on the Windows 8 machine or whatever machine you've set it up on. Click log on. And there you can see now we've logged on to that machine. So what we need to do here now is we can see that machine running. So if you look here, we will have two machines. Let me just show you. So now we have two machines, okay? So this machine here would be the machine that's on the other from the other display. You won't see this one. This is say for downstairs or in, an, in another location, okay? And this will be the machine that we're working on to shut down the other machine, okay? So I'll put them both side by side and you'll see what I mean. It's a bit confusing, but you generally get the idea, okay? So from here, if you want to, you've got access up the top here, you've got actions, and you can see here as well, you can lock a computer um, and stuff like that if you wanted to. So if you wanted to lock it, you could lock that computer and it will shut down and lock. You can also re a remote reboot, log off, reboot, reboot in safe mode. So if you want to reboot that machine that's in a lumber location into safe mode, you can also do that. And you would still be able to log on, okay, as well. And you've got loads of other bits and pieces here that you can uh, do here. Now, if you want to just quickly shut down a machine, all you need to do here is click on this and shut down, and that will shut down a machine. Now, the connection from my end is now gone, and the other machine will shut down. And that's basically how you can remotely uh, shut down, reboot, or do whatever you like to a machine without the other person being there. It's pretty easy to do and set up, okay? Now to remove that, it's pretty straightforward. Okay, so now I've rebooted the system just to show you how to remove this if you want to, because this will be running all the time. If I open up the bottom right hand corner here, you'll see there is a team viewer running and that will automatically start up. So you can remote in anytime you want, um, any time of the day without that person knowing if, if, because that's what you want to do, okay, to shut down the machine. Mm -hmm. So let me just, um, and install this for you. Now to uninstall this, obviously you'd just need to go to your team viewer here and it'll probably ask you to shut down that service first, as you can see here. So we need to close this off. Exit that out. And then all you need to do is just click on this and uninstall it and that will be uninstalled. Now you want to remove all your settings, okay? All your password settings, everything else, just remove all that and that will be safely removed, okay? And you won't be able to remote back into that machine again. You'll get this window popping up asking you for some feedback while you're uninstalling it. Um, but really, you probably wouldn't have to uninstall it unless you wanted to. Uh, it's a pretty decent bit of kit. Anyway, so I'm going to wrap this one up. My name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. I hope this video helps you out, guys. It's very simple to do. Have a go yourself. If you want to remote all your computers and set them all up, you can have full control of them. If you haven't hit the subscribe button yet, then hit the subscribe button. This will allow you to uh, watch all my latest videos when I upload them. Also, hit the like button on the video, and that will help me out a lot. Also, if you've got any problems with computers and you want to head over to the forums, then the information's on the screen right now. You should be able to head over there, join up for free. It doesn't cost you anything. If you've got any problems with computers, I can help you out over there for free as well. Okay, bye for now.